I'm staring at myself. Because I've avoided mirrors all day and this is the first time I've allowed myself to look at myself and I hate looking at myself on days like these, so. This is crazy, man. You see, when you watch a show like Keeping Up With The Kardashians, um, Kim, Courtney, Chloe, whoever are never gonna stop the show, look at the camera and talk to you about, hey, I saw that you said this about me, you know, but with my vlogs, I break that wall, I break that barrier and I talk to you guys and Before I say any of the stuff that I'm about to say, if you choose to listen, I don't blame anything that I chose to do myself on you guys or what you guys say or anything like that. I would never do that. I'm grown enough and I've lived with my addiction long enough to know that when, a, when an addict chooses to do something, it was because they chose to. And it's not about the circumstances around them. So let me say that first and foremost. I'm not blaming any of you guys for anything positive or anything negative you guys said. And I was actually so excited to post a vlog after I got out of the hotel that I was in because I was gonna announce my over 30 days sobriety and you know, I could have announced it because I already hit it, but I didn't because I wanted to make it special when I announced it. But obviously when I was in the hotel, I didn't want to announce it. And here I am now posting a vlog to say, hey guys, I lost my sobriety. I did my addiction all day. Simi actually came by earlier and asked me what was wrong and if everything's okay and I lied and I said yeah. I couldn't even make eye contact with her because I don't like staring at anybody when I use. And it's funny because I think I tried to get her to stop me because I posted a Snapchat and in the clouds I wrote. I wrote, please stop me because I'm not strong enough to text a friend to say, hey, I need your help right now. Please stop me. <laughs> I didn't want to lose my sobriety at all. Whew. Believe it or not, that feels good because it's been so long. Um, I didn't want to lose my sobriety. I didn't want to post a vlog talking about, hey, I lost it. <laughs> it's just got, it. especially now that millions of people around the world saw me as their hope and inspiration for overcoming their battles with my weight loss journey transformation. Now to have to post this, it's like I'm a mockery and I'm a joke and that's what was so hard about it and I just couldn't take it anymore man that 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 trying to chase that perfection was just not gonna happen and I can get into so many reasons as to why I chose to use and you know if you want to listen I will list them but I want you guys to know again I'm not blaming it on anybody or anything because it's my choice at the end of the day how I handle circumstances in life but I'll admit I am a coward and I am a piece of and I am soft and comments do get to me. 
It's as simple as that. It all started with, you know, me going out with Johnny and Fahad and you guys reacting to that and me feeling like I let my family down. You guys are all I f***ing have. And you guys don't understand that something so small to me is so f***ing big because I don't like letting you guys down. I try making you guys happy before myself every day. And I had everybody tell me why I'm a piece of shit for going out. That started it. And then I... I go into the hotel to work. It was straight up work. Yet everybody's going off on me about... How I'm on vacation, choosing not to vlog and everything, but I'm working on something for my future for you guys. And then I post a video with Ali and I'm getting criticized out the f For reasons like, you're a piece of shit, Ali, you cut him off, you want, you, you always want the attention on yourself. Uh, you, you lost your virginity, you're a piece of shit. You're the worst role model, da 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 da. People just, I don't know how I'm attracting all the people drilling me. And me sitting there like, hey, me cutting anybody off is a joke. And B, if you guys haven't realized, this is Dosa Fusi. This is my vlog channel. And I choose, and I've always done this, to make the people in the vlogs more important than myself because I love them that much. Fahad, I made it all about him. Ali, all about him. Simi, all about her. Even Dennis, whoever's in my vlog, it's about them. Show me another solo vlog channel who does Q&As and lets their best friends talk in it. It's never about me. I was a piece of shit for that. And then the next day, and I know when I say this stuff out loud, it sounds so cowardice. But, you know, when I'm locked in a hotel room and all I have is comments that I'm reading, everything that goes from here goes to here. So of course, if I, and I, I couldn't gym for all those days, and of course, me reading comments the next day about you gained weight, you're chubbier, you gained weight, you gained weight, you gained weight. The first thing I wanted to do was use to get away from having to read that And you guys are, I know what you guys are thinking now, because I'm thinking the same shit. You, you're a little that was nothing, but, you have to be in this situation, you have to be in the moment. It's like, imagine just hearing sirens in your head just Because <laughs> all I was running through my head was, you're a piece of shit. you're worth this, you're not a role model, you're bad, you're this, you're, getting, you're gaining weight, you're a bad friend, everyone hates you. That's all I was zooming in my head. The life that I live, that's how my thought process works, okay? I see the love, I see the support, I see the 50,000 people who thumbs up the vlog, but my mind chooses to see those comments that zing past my head. Now, Ali saw it, he saw me going crazy, locked in a hotel room and all I'm doing is reading comments and you know, each one feels like it's the end of the world. I'm probably not even gonna upload this, to be honest. This is a more so event for me to just get out and now I feel better already. It's like when I don't have anybody to talk to and I choose not to talk to anybody about it, I choose to lose my sobriety, but if I just talked it out earlier, I wouldn't have. But it, no, because if I had talked it out beforehand, it would have been, you're complaining over everything, you're this, you're that, you cry over everything, you're weak-minded, da 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 and it would have just... I'm probably not gonna upload this. Good morning to the best family on YouTube. It is currently Friday and today didn't start off the greatest. I missed Muffin's vet appointment. She needed her shots today. I missed it. My tires are low on air so I had to take an Uber today and the bank was supposed to do something. Remember when I went to the bank for the merchandise and they were supposed to create an account? Well, they haven't done it yet because the bank that I go to sucks, so I have to switch banks now. And yeah, currently with Ali. 
Dang, those glasses, though. They're yours. <laughs> They're not. I'm currently with Ali. Uh, so, more exciting news since all that stuff was negative news. The show did get picked up, Dang. which means the show was um, closed and a deal was signed with a TV network. So, basically, a TV network wants the show now. So, now is the fun part where we go to the, the meetings and create the show, discuss what the show is, discuss the first episode, the pilot, and the course of action we want to take for the show. So for the next couple of months, it's going to be a crazy fun experience while the show is being developed and filmed and you guys are going to be with it every step of the way. And that's the cool thing. So even though we got a TV show, I still get full control of my YouTube. Nothing changes. I still vlog. I still post the pranks. I still do everything. And that's just the cherry on top. So back to work yeah, we go. Right All right, guys, I'm back on the grind. Um, four eggs uh, and potatoes. So that's really the only carbs that I'm gonna get in for today. And yeah, I will be working out later tonight. Ali, what did you get? Leaves. Leaves? Yeah, she leaves. Leaves, AKA Caesar salad, our favorite salad. So I had to come to the BMW dealership because again, my tire pressure is low. And you guys saw what happened last time I tried to do it myself. So I decided to just come here and I'm still so mad about this, guys. There's just problems with insurance right now and I don't know why they don't go directly through the guy's insurance and why they're making me wait all this time, but I never even showed you guys what happened. I actually bapped it myself the other day. So what I actually wanna do after I get those things fixed is actually get a decal on it and cover the whole car because the rubber commented and told me I should get a skin on it. So I have to find out where to do that. The only thing I know is West Coast Customs, which used to have the TV show with uh, exhibit so let me know if you're in the LA area where I can get my car wrapped because I'm interested in doing that a crazy color kind of like KSI did so it's funny after telling you guys to tell me where to get it done I actually just called West Coast Customs and they can actually do it for me so now I have to decide if I want to get it wrapped with the scratches and stuff on my current car or if I want to fix the scratches before getting it wrapped so I'll have to think about it and make sure that it's just scratches and not a dent because a scratch is a scratch if it's just a scratch, but a scratch, a dent is not a scratch. You get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than coming home to these guys. <laughs> yeah, they're... <laughs> You nasty? Uh, I swear, I can be having the worst day ever. I can be going through anything. I come home to these guys, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You too? You want it too? Get him, Muffin. Get him. Get him. Muffin, get him. Get a muffin. Watch this, guys. I help muffin all the time. Watch. I'll put dollar down. Dollars right here. Now watch this. Get a muffin. Get a muffin. Get him. Get him. Dollar. Don't double team me. Oh, snap. Something I never showed you guys. Yesterday, I came home from being in hotel lockdown and sim got the first batch of peel box orders or peel box boxes so there are letters uh there are uh letters packages more letters more packages just like oh, this is filled like all in here and this was only after the first couple of days because the peel box lady called yelling she was like y'all need to come pick up your packages right now so that was from a couple of days ago, so I still have to go pick up the- Hey, Dollar! You trying to see what the Brubbers got you? Like, what does this one say? Number one prank channel, lawyer, open with a smile, let me know if you don't. The art of words, if I die, if you notice me. Good morning to the best vlogger on YouTube. I brought- Okay, I'm gonna open hers right now. I'm gonna open hers right now and see what she had to say to the Brubra. So her packaging was so sweet. Like, it says, Yusuf did it, I can do it, right there. Right here it says, DOF fam, don't stop grinding and working. Look at her, her picture that she drew. 
So that's the picture I posted on Instagram, my first shirtless picture after the 90 day journey. Prove them wrong. She wrote this letter and you know what? I'm gonna read her letter. This is the first letter that I'm gonna read from the PO box. So, Yusuf, the boy who made YouTube videos for fun. The boy who sold Fusi merchandise from his parents' house. The boy with a dream. The boy with ambition. The boy who accomplished. The man he became. Something went wrong. He picked himself up. He became more happier. He aimed higher. He accomplished. He never stopped. Meditation, yoga, healthy eating, staying fit, reading, exercise, sleep, a, gu a guide on how to stay happy. The journey starts with you. The grind don't stop, boy. Prove them wrong. In a relationship with the gym. Dollar in a dream, work hard. This is so sweet, from Emily Bourne. By the way, I'm gonna save all this stuff like this, and me and Simi are gonna put a huge collage together. So this time I'm actually gonna appreciate the stuff you send and not just like toss it for whatever reason. So her letter says this, we're gonna read it guys. Sorry guys, she sent it, I want to read it, and then I have to decide how I'm gonna read everybody's for the vlog, cause y'all will get bored at that. Ah, Yusuf. Where does your letter start, baby girl? Um, to me, you aren't Fusi too. You're Yusuf Salah Harakak. You're more than just a pranker and YouTuber. You're my friend. You're a part of my not blood related family. You're my friend regardless of your age. Your vlogs mean something to me. My friend who occasionally watches your vlogs said we're alike. She said it when she saw one of your vlogs for the first time. My goal is to be a YouTuber and a motivational speaker. I love writing inspirational things but I love reading them out loud more. Speaking is my talent, winky face. My other hobbies are advertising and art. I'm obsessed with art, fashion, photography, painting, and anything creative. If you're reading this, the law of attraction has brought me to you or you've opened up your PO box again, hopefully the first one. That is crazy because she's literally the first one that I open. I just really want to tell you how grateful I am to you for being a mass massive inspiration to me. I've watched your vlogs since you started and your main channel for guys be nice to each other. They're listening too, but be nice to each other, okay? Be nice. That's, that's what I thought. Made me stop her letter. For ages, the grind don't stop, boy. Tea stays green, lions keep roaring, brubra, DOF family, dollar, muffin, muffin top. And she drew another picture, damn. Oh, forgot to mention, my name is Emily and right now I'm 14 years old, birthday on November 11th, I'm from England. Well, Emily, who's 14 years old from England, you are the first letter that I open and I appreciate that so much, Emily. Because right now, um, although I'm hiding it rather well today, the reason being, I'm not dwelling on my mistake of yesterday and I'm just accepting the truth of what happened and, you know, welcoming the lesson, life, the journey. You know, I would rather treat a day like yesterday with a day full of love and nurture and happiness like I'm doing now instead of mourning and being sad and being depressed. So that's why I'm happy if a lot of you are wondering, why is he happy after what he did yesterday? Because obviously I have to treat myself good today. I'm not gonna be negative about it. So Emily, that came out of perfect timing. I love you, um, I wish you the best. For 14 years old, you seem like you have an amazing head on your shoulders and you're super strong and independent and confident and I believe in you just as much as you believe in you and I hope you're watching this right now. I hope the law of attraction got you to watch this vlog and you're listening to what I'm saying right now and I don't want you to be disappointed in what I did yesterday because I know many times in that letter you said I'm your inspiration and I want you to know that in times, times in life you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall more than once. You're gonna fall even when you told yourself you're never gonna fall again, but the point is to get back up and keep roaring, like you said in the letter. The grind don't stop, the tea stays green and the lines stay roaring, so I want you to roar for me every single day. I love you. Just spent some time by the pool, got my tan on and all that good stuff. So check this out, there's this company that I'm about to work with, a company that I actually love, and I'm about to do a fun project with them, right? So he's texting me the same time Simi's texting me. Last night, after I lost my sobriety, Simi came over and she was like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing, you know? And I was like, I wasn't even making eye contact with her, I wasn't looking at her. I was just to myself, whatever, I was weird about it. And she was like, Yusuf, are you okay? Do you need anybody? I was like, I'm good. Don't need nobody, I'm good. I lied to her, I lied to her super hard. So I try to text her and I go, 
By the way, there's no reason to lie to you. Yeah, I lost my over 30 days sobriety yesterday. That's why I was so weird. I hate even making eye contact with someone when I do. All of a sudden I get a text back and I'm interested to see what she says. And it's the guy from the company and he goes, was that meant to be sent to me? And I was like, oh, <laughs> I sent it to the guy from the company and not Simi by accident. And yeah, that was almost bad. But I, I, I owned up to it and I was like, sorry, man, that, was, that wasn't to you. Da -da -da. And I put a smiley face. Anyways, I'm about to eat healthy right now. So although I am eating clean and I'm not cheating too much, like that's a personally meal prep meal, I haven't been going to the gym. And that's the issue. And the issue is, whenever I was doing the program, the first thing I did in the morning before I did anything you guys saw in the vlogs was go to the gym every single morning. Now that I don't go in the mornings anymore and it's left open to my day, I miss days. Cause now it's up to me when I go, oh, I'll go an hour later, I'll go in two hours, I'll go in three hours, I'll go after this show, I'll go after this movie, da da da. And I end up not going. So I really need to get my rhythm back and I really need now to find my own motivation that I motivated you guys with for 90 days to actually get my butt back in the gym. The best comment on Mornings with Fusi is who the hell is this guest? I told you he's irrelevant. <laughs> no, we, I, that, that was so mean. I was like, he fight. gave such influential fight, 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 oh. answers and he got hated on so much. His answers were whatever. They're, they're all right. I thought the DOFM was gonna give you love, but it just didn't pan out that way. Okay, do this for me. Don't get that on camera. I don't know how to do it to my own. What's the fuck <laughs> Come on. There you go. What are you filming me for? <laughs> We're about to watch what movie? Uh, Man from Uncle. Man from Uncle. I have no idea what this movie's about. I don't even remember seeing a trailer for it. All I know. But I came to enjoy some snacks and a good movie. Yeah, Bro, bros, before I. Sorry, it got deleted. Okay, no Sorry, problem. Buddy. Sorry. No, no, no problem. <laughs> it's like, is it bad? Damn it! Do you want me to take something wrong with this? This is part of my job. It's to stand next to somebody sorry, getting man. their camera sorry. store. It's all good, bro. I'm not <laughs> tripping at all. It's just funny. I do this a lot, guys, because whenever a Burbara comes, most time is spent with the camera out. And I just stand here awkward and smile. I'm sorry. It's not loading. That's why at the end they burn. But yeah, double tap this, this button, man. Double tap that. Yeah. There you go. It's it's part of the job. It's my favorite part. It might not oh, work. Okay. Oh. You got it? That was good. It's, it's, it was a magic touch. Thank you, man. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Bro, boys, I was actually gonna. That would stress me out. No, I, I was actually gonna talk about him before he came up again. Oh, for so there's something before we tell you about how the movie went. This is not a diss to any of you brothers who have met me, but I'm sure Ali, yeah. I'm sure we've talked about this and you can agree with this. If you see somebody, right, yeah. who you want to meet, yeah, yeah. the first thing out of your mouth should not be, can I get a picture? It's at least agree. You, you rule. You didn't say hi. And there's no hi. It's literally like, look, come up to me and do it how they, how they go. So guys. Can I take a picture? Yeah. Right. And then after it's done, exactly, they walk away. No, they're talking, he was talking with his friend as if you weren't even there. That was the weird Exactly. Brothers, you missed the opportunity. Can I show them how it should be? Yeah, watch this. So, do it, do it, do it the way we love. Okay. What's up, guys? So, you know, I've been... Hey, you're so okay. You know, I'm a really big fan. You know, I love watching all your videos. I love watching your vlogs. What's up, man? How's how Dollar Muffin? How's Good. Simi? What's your name, I man? I love Ali. Ali's such a... Like, Thank you, man. What's your name? Ali. Ali. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Ali. Um, you know, I, I don't want to trouble you. Is it cool if I grab a picture with you? Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, if that's what you'd like, yeah. yeah. Hey, can you take a picture? And then that's how it's done. Yeah, and there's even other ways than that. Some people don't even ask for pictures. So realistic. Some people don't even ask for pictures. Yeah. Some people just come up and do this. Yo, what's up, Fusi? Yo, yeah, I appreciate man. your work. Thank you so much. I yeah. love you, man. Thank Keep you. rocking. What we're trying to say is, you're, you're, you, a lot of you waste opportunities to just get the picture to say, like, I've done it, instead of actually, like, 
talking out the connection, you know? Talk to a bruh bruh. And it's not just me, it happens to a lot of people. Anyways, I'll show you guys in the future when it does happen if I ever catch it on camera. The movie was amazing. Oh yeah, watch good. Man From Uncle. Yeah. Once I found out it was a Guy Ritchie movie, I looked at Ali and I was like, Yeah, man. Because that's... Watch his film, uh, Snatch is on Netflix, so watch Snatch. Snatch, yeah, I actually did a scene from Snatch in college. I but remember that, that. yeah, that, mo it. that movie was amazing. So, check it out, it was a fun ride. Um, I did indulge in some snacks and food. And believe it or not, whenever I eat, I'm nervous that Ali's gonna tell me not to. But the thing is, you worked out today, right? <laughs> oh my god. He was trying to get me to work out today. I was like, my body's still sore. I was going to, but a lot of things got in my way. We didn't get the massage. We didn't get the massage. <laughs> Which massage place? Oh my we god. Were back, oh, we were back to the massage place. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not even gonna talk let's about not, it. Let's not go there. Let's, let's not, not go there. So, oh the streets is out tonight. Check this out. I like it. I like it tonight. It's, it's a nice night. The weather's not very nice. Personally, I hate pictures. I hate picture tape. Coming from the guy who's walking around with the biggest selfie stick right now, but I hate pictures. Like I see, I see so many people taking pictures. Aside from Instagram, which is for you guys, I don't take pictures. Like driver, Uber. Like if I go on vacation, I don't take pictures at all. Aside from Instagram, it's like I don't get it. I don't get saving the moment. What's that? I don't get saving the moment. Let's see if they. Hi! Hi! It's because it's so sweet. <laughs> but I want to see if it's going to be the... Can I get a picture? Oh, you know so what's funny? Happy. You know what's like, funny? There was, people, the, there was no running. They were, they were like so happy. Right? When people like stop you and tell you to come like cross the field. Oh my that, god! I find, I find that extremely rude. Like, bro, bro, sometimes oh, there's like... It usually is the Arab guys. I'm not yeah, going to yeah. lie. Arab guys They're can be cool 50 feet away from you. me. They go, hey! Hey, Fousey! I look, they go like this. Come here. I look at them and I'm like, nah. <laughs> like sometimes cross the street, like you want yeah, me to cross yeah. the street. At least have the decency to come up. Anyways, we're just teasing and we're just showing y'all like. Don't you, get, don't you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, Vitaly ZDTV. Don't you do pranks? Vitaly ZDTV. Yeah, can I take a picture of you yeah. real quick? Can you tag it under Vitaly ZDTV? Yeah. Okay. Who do you like better? I'm Vitaly, but who do you like better, Vitaly or Roman? You like Vitaly? Vitaly better than Roman? Say Vitaly number one. Vitaly number one. Oh, Roman. Oh, Roman? Yeah. Dang. Do you, what about Fusi? Do you guys like Fusi? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Do you guys like him? Yeah, I think his pranks suck. You guys don't think Fusi Stop sucks? What's up, no, man? No, you're the best YouTuber. What, what's what's my YouTube name? You Fushi too. But they just called me Vitaly. <laughs> no, you're not Vitaly. <laughs> what's up, man? You just took a big wait. <laughs> you made the vlog. Yeah. yeah. Hello, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hello, Hi. Roman. Hi. I love Roman. What's gonna be the show too? Huh? Okay, no. do you don't even know who I am. Dude. Yeah, of course. I know he knows. Yeah, know. What's up? Like, he called me Vitaly. <laughs> Alright, guys. All you guys, go. I can't take one. <laughs> I'll get down with you. I'll get down. You want to take pictures? I'll die if you don't want to take pictures. With Vitaly. Go over this. The man has to go. Thank you guys. Yeah, of course. You're a bra bra, I can tell. Yeah. One, you two! I feel so bad that I put him on blast so hard. But is that my fault? No, they don't know who you are. And you want a picture. And it's not, oh, he was flustered. a selfie stick in there, like, that's a It's not the fact that he was flustered. He wasn't flustered. That's not the reason he thought I was Vitaly. He really didn't know. What's up, man? Yeah. You know I'm Vitaly, right? <laughs> yeah, you're Vitaly now. You're Fousey too. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure from now on. We just had a discussion about this. What was the first thing you said when you came up? Can I take a photo with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you see? Thank you, man. Thanks. Thank you, nice man. Good one. Told you guys, like. No disrespect to the bruh, love the bruh, but there's, there's, there's no, hello.
how are you? Yeah. How's your day, man? No greeting, you know? Appreciate your work. It's literally just a picture that's... It's, I feel objectified. It kind of is. It is objectifying. Yeah. It's like I get... I, it doesn't make me feel like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't make me feel like a person, it makes me feel like an item, a commodity to show off on Instagram. But that's not it, bruh. That's not what it's about. Alright guys, I'm about to end the vlog right here. Uh, it's been a pretty long vlog. Ali enjoyed some cookie dough. I did not eat that. He ate that. <laughs> what? You're a liar. Talk about throwing something under the bus. Yeah, um, I'm gonna throw you under the bus every time you eat junk food. So <laughs> thank you guys for coming back and enjoying a, another vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the special guest. <laughs> Ali's roommate. The, no, he's not no, no, a roommate. Ali's roommate. You know, we, have, we had a meeting about this. His cousin. No, no, no. Not, we had a meeting yeah, about roommate, the roommate situation. Wait, no. Wait, so you're saying he's not a roommate? He no, won't call me. Roommate. I can just fight in two seconds and I'll answer. Do you pay rent? That's the meeting today. He won't let me like officially pay rent. Okay, if you don't pay rent, you're not a roommate. Thank you. But exactly. I want to pay rent. But you're not if he's you don't pay rent. You're a guest. No, if I'm you not a pay guest. rent, you're a roommate. I would. I give rent in other ways. He's a cat. Yeah. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, he won't be on. He won't let me. He, he's on one more episode of the Morning with Food Scene. You guys will never see him again. Damn. No, we're actually gonna be roommates in like January. We're not February. gonna be roommates. Yeah, we are. They're they're. I can see them being roommates right now. They're cousins. By the way, if you guys didn't know their relationship, they're cousins. Um. We're roommates. I was wondering for you guys to object that, but no, because I tell people that we're cousins. <laughs> there's no reason to, <laughs> the whole kidding? cousin thing's out the window now. Okay. Oh, I we're gotta tell you, cousins. I gotta tell you something he did that almost screwed us. I'll talk to you about it. Um, yeah, we're not wait, 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 don't, don't say it, don't say we're... it. He's okay. an idiot. He's an idiot. Can we explain the cousins thing or no? What? Yeah, go Can ahead. Explain it. Yeah, what is we're it? Not we're not actually cousins. I but just why say, do you say it? When we meet people, where I'm like, oh, he's my cousin, because they're like, oh. Because we're we've known each other for a long time, and our families know each other. We've so lived it's together. Like, oh, we're guys, literally like, roommates. We don't. When he travels, he stays at my place. So people are like, oh, he stays at your place. You guys hang out all the time. Or are you guys like gay? And we're like, no. People think that we're in a. So I'm uh, it took you guys so long to beat around that bush to just say so people we don't confuse us as being gay. gay. We have to tell the whole We tell story. people we're cousins. Yeah, so we tell, so we tell, what they were trying to say story. is so people don't think that they're lovers and that's why they live together. They tell people that they're cousins. Because yeah. we're not, not just like a traveling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching this vlog. Uh, um, like the vlogs will pick up, the videos okay, will no, pick no, up. Thank you for being bridge. understanding. There's actually a lot of exciting things coming in the works pretty soon. So all those things I say, hey, can't talk about this yet. Hey, can't talk about this yet. Um, well, not soon. It's gonna take actually a while. But yeah, love you guys. Thanks for your endless support and positivity. Feel free to leave whatever you want in the comment section. Feel free to leave whatever you want in the like or dislike, whatever you choose to do. And until next time, I'll see you tomorrow where the grind don't stop, the tea stays green, and the lines stay roaring. I didn't want to end the vlog just yet. So if you guys made it this far, it's like a little treat for you guys. Coming home to these guys. Hey guys, whoa! God dang, really? Why? Give Muffin a chance, dollar. Dollar, don't hog me to yourself. Oh, oh! Oh my God, Muff. I'm a proud parent. <laughs> I love you guys. Dollar, you're so needy. You don't even let me. <clears throat> you don't let me say hi to Muffin. Muffin, come here. Let me kiss you too. Come here, kiss me. Or not, Dollar. Or not. Mm. I love you, kids. I love you. I love you. I love you, okay? I love you. Let me check. I, when I come home, I check the house to see if there's any poop. Nope. They did good. Good job, guys. Peas on the pad where it's supposed to be. All the food's gone. Good job, guys. But yeah, I didn't want to end the vlog just yet because of what I did yesterday. Um, I want to say this. If you made it this far, I'm sure you'd watch this last little bit. Oh, guys, that's not nice. That wasn't nice. Don't cry. 
Yesterday, me not uploading the vlog was not the grind stopping, was not, um, you know, anything like that. Yesterday, me not uploading vlog was a personal choice of mine. It was a choice of mine because, I'm not gonna lie, I debated whether or not I was gonna lie to you guys. And by lie... Good job, my friend. Good job. Good job! You pee where you're supposed to? Good job! Hey! She's not as loving yet. Um... By lie, I meant... Do I upload it? And let them know? That the guy that they watch for inspiration and encouragement and like motivation Lost his sobriety after everything that he showed them he got through, or do I post it and, you know, just be honest with you guys, and I debated with it for so long that today I just, I couldn't make a decision. I just couldn't make a decision. I didn't know what to do. And, you know, at the end of the day, you're supposed to brand yourself on YouTube and be strong, but you guys know I've never gone by those rules. I've always just been honest. I've chose honesty. I chose vulnerability and you know, the funny thing is I'm the one who has to edit these things too. So yesterday after I recorded that, I don't wanna, I don't wanna edit it. I don't wanna watch myself talking about me losing my sobriety. I didn't wanna do any of that. So I, I took a day to think about it. And then finally like I was like, you know what? Nah, I am gonna show them. Um, and I'm, I'm strong enough right now to, you know, be able to edit it. So that's what it was guys. So I, I, I already know people are gonna have whatever to say. I already know everyone's gonna have their mixed opinions. I know that. And this is the life and career that I chose, so I'm ready for it. Um, and all I know is I, I do know the support and I do see the support and I've, I've never forgotten the support or anything. It's just, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm human and it gets hard at times, but what can I do? Um, I'm here living my life day to day uh, all I can do is get up, all I can do is keep fighting, and all I can do is continuing chasing my dreams, and I'm so appreciative of the people who choose to stay throughout that and everything, so I love you guys so much. I, in everything that I've been doing, even the hotel lockdown, it's been hard work. Like, I know it seems like, wait, this guy isn't doing anything. In the hotel lockdown, it was just work. It was just work, and I can't talk about it and that's what was so frustrating but I promise I was working to make you guys proud in the future and one day whether it be now six months a year whenever everything starts coming out I can show you guys like this is what I was doing those times this is what it was so I'm talking too much but I love you guys endlessly um, I thank you guys for getting me up on my feet every single day um, you guys mean so much, man, so much. I can't wait to open every single one of those letters and read what you guys have to say and the packages and you know everything and just see what my bro bros have to say, man. Cause you never know what's gonna happen in life. And I don't mean to sound depressing, but I never know how long this YouTube journey is gonna last. And I'm not saying by me, cause I told you guys I plan to vlog for my life, you know, for as long as YouTube allows it. But for every, whatever reason, you guys might leave the vlog tomorrow or after tomorrow or in a week, whatever may happen in your life. And for the time that I do have you, I want you to know that I'm so freaking appreciative of the bond that you guys have been allowing me to make with you and just let you guys know that for the moment that you might be in my life or even for the long haul, if you just stay for the long haul, you guys have done everything for my life and have made me into the person I am and I'm so thankful for that. And that's as honest as I can tell it, man. I black out in moments like these where I'm talking to you guys because it's the only time in my life where I just talk from my heart and really don't have any hidden agenda behind it. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying to do anything like that. I'm not trying to hear tell you guys, I love you guys, buy my t-shirts. No, I'm here to tell you guys, you guys actually changed my life and you continue to change my life day in and out. And that's why I hate, you know, days where I don't make you guys proud or days where I do my addiction because I fight it every single day. <laughs> I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow and I can promise you that. Sleep easy. Rah!